First, we're back on the couch with my roommate, Maggie. And I am about to do her nails for graduation. Right now, these are my nails. I did this for our little... We're having a graduation photo shoot on Friday. Today is Wednesday. Sorry if you hear Frankie in the background. He's kind of the worst person ever, actually. I just finished marinating dinner tonight because I'm making us dinner. These are the new colors that I just got in terms of gel, and they're so cute. It's like this, so cute. That's so her. Ooh, I like them. I am going to show you what I make at home as a former barista. I hate to say that, but I feel like once I worked at a coffee shop, I feel like I just know how to make drinks better. So what I'm first going to do is that I am going to put a cup of water in the microwave for a minute and 30 seconds. You want it to be piping hot this much but I feel like I usually don't use this much but this is what I use I'm just I honestly kind of measure based on heart Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous matcha that I use. That green is just wow. Uh, it's a premium first harvest pure organic matcha and it's ceremonial. So I just take a little bit of this. I honestly really, really, really measure based on heart. Uh, just a little bit more. Usually, yeah, that seems good to me. Gotta take the water that you put in the microwave. I use a bamboo whisk. This is honestly the best whisk. And then you can put it in here to kind of loosen it. And then not only that, I like to add slowly. So I add it for a little, ooh. Ooh, it's so hot, it's so hot, it's so hot. But I add it so it's a little paste first. Look at that gorgeous green color. So with this paste, this is kind of how I like it. And then just slowly add it. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that green color is so gorgeous. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Just slowly add it, because you don't want your matcha to taste too watery. Definitely have some fresh bottles going. I dropped it. Messed up, and I forgot to add the lavender and the honey. So I'm about to do that right now after I add more hot water because I realized that I didn't add enough. I'm gonna try to take over. I didn't even add the lavender yet, but he is going to stir that in for me while I add the lavender. Adding the lavender, I only add like that much. I use the Monion brand. Pretty good, pretty good so far. I like it. Not, you can still really taste the floral, like lavender aspect. And then I'm just gonna pop this back in the freezer. And so whole set of my stuff. And then all of his stuff. This, this is his, this is mine. So, wow, my matcha is in the freezer. We just finished eating breakfast. And I'm gonna prepare some fruits for us to eat and finish making a cold foam on top because I swear cold foam just make everything so much better. Trust me. Strawberries, these are super nice and juicy. And some blueberries to start off the day. Oh my gosh, these look so good. Look at that. Yum. So this is how I make the cold foam. I use some heavy whipping cream. Just a smidge. It really just depends how much heavy whipping cream, how much cold foam you're really feeling. Go for a little more. And then 
take some brown sugar. Wrap it on your brown sugar, put home, and makes everything so good. Just like a scoop. Depends how sweet you want it. I like mine a bit sweet. And if you want to be a little more like me, I take a pump of vanilla bean extract sometimes if I'm feeling crazy. And you can add that in, and that also makes it super delicious. Now it's time to whisper. Oh, really a little tornado. It really just depends how thick you want it, but the longer you mix it, the thicker it's gonna be. Right now, it's a really good consistency, so we're just gonna keep that. So this is the cup that I'm using. I swear, drinking out of pretty cups really just, it, it steals the day. So I'm just gonna put my matcha in. Since I don't have a mixer, like I wish I did, and then I just use like the oat beverage from Trader Joe's. It works just fine. Put this in there. I honestly like my milk like a little capsize. That makes you crazy. Mix that up real quick. See, it's a little thick. So the way that I stir it at least. So I'm just gonna give it a little hand. You it's literally like dessert, but it's so good. And then I just smoothen it on top. Alright, so I'm gonna try it out. It's so good. I love cold foam so much. I might have gone a little overboard, but the key is to pretend that you're drinking out of like a little sippy cup so that you get like cold foam and matcha at the same time. You don't want to get all cold foam. Like make your mouth like, like a little tiny little bit. <laughs> so right now I am about to start doing my makeup. It's currently like two o'clock and I have pictures at five but I'm also going to like a crawfish boil at three and I don't know really how long I'm gonna be staying there. I've only done it like once. So I have no clue how this is gonna work out. But I'm hoping that it's good because I watched a few like makeup tutorials last night on TikTok. So fingers crossed right now. I'm watching White Collar and yeah, I'm just gonna get started. So uh, in terms of what I got for primer. I had to ask the people at Sephora to help me out, but they were really nice. I got a Tatcha. This is Tatcha primer. So I'm gonna start off with that. I don't like how it's not super is mattifying. So Looks really natural in my opinion, which I don't know if I like considering for today. But this is what I know how to do, so we're just gonna go with this. Next, I'm gonna take this hula. Oh, this hula. I honestly don't really know the difference between the two. I'm just gonna put it right here. Or they're trying to like bake and color contact. I'm using Tarte Shape Tape, and people use like really light skin shade compared to their like their foundation. I just got like a travel mini size. I feel like this would do. I see people like put it here, um, up here. Uh, I think here. And I see like some people put it underneath. And I see some people put it here. I feel like fingers would work the best because I just, I'm not that good. I bought these like mini blender thingies instead of getting like a real beauty blender. I got it from like Minnesota, like a huge pack of them. And I feel like using my fingers would work the most. I usually, I don't really have brushes, but I feel like if anything is gonna blend things out, it's gonna be my fingers. Do you guys see a difference? Do I look lifted? So I'm not really sure how much that like lightening it really helped, but I'm gonna use this air spun loose face powder. I'm gonna attempt to bake. I don't really know what it does, but I know that all the makeup girlies do it. 
so there must be a reason. I'm just gonna take like this much. I'm so afraid of like, like what's called flashback. Hopefully that doesn't happen to me, but I remember when that was like a really big thing in like 2016 with like James Charles, if you know. So I'm just gonna put it like this. I think I might need more. I don't know. I think there's like a thing where people like tap, tap, tap. So this is what the baking looks like now. I'm gonna leave it in for a few minutes. I currently only have 10 more minutes until we have to go to the crawfish party. So I guess we'll see what happens. Just are in. It's finally time for me to brush it off. This is the only other brush that I have. So we're just gonna use this to wash it off. I think this is what they do. Brush it off. I think it worked. Do, do I look snatched? Do I look slay? Oops, I forgot to put it right there. I'm gonna use all of my bin. All the my crystals. Mm. Wait, I kinda look snatched, guys. Okay, then I'm gonna use this cream blush from Glossy Air. I've had this for like so many years. If you have ever had this cloud paint brush, you know you only need like a smidge. I'm gonna put this right here, put it as my contour. I think I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose. Just a little bit like that. Okay, and then time to take this. I got one of these like eyelash clampers. It's supposed to be good for like if you have fake eyelashes. So I'll probably glue my eyelashes more together later on. Mm. I'm not gonna do a uh, lip makeup right now because I'm about to eat, so I just feel like it makes no point. But I oh, wait, forgot the bottom lashes. I am thinking of putting white liner on my bottom liner. I just feel like it makes your eyes pop a little more. Nothing, not like super bright white, just like a little. A little something, something. It makes you look more awake, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me hyping myself up. And then I am going to take Glossier uh, and Topaz. I'm going to put this right here for a little bit of shine. And then I am going to take the No Budge Elf Stick. It's so good. I'm gonna put this in the inner corner. Inner corner, right mm here. -hmm. And then do a smudge right there on the nose. Oh, y'all. Yes. And then go down the, the bridge of the nose. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then put a little right Okay, I'm probably not gonna do my hair until like closer to the time just because I don't want it to fall super early. But this is pretty much the finished look. We are getting ready to take our graduation pictures. This is the fit. Here you show my fit. Thanks, 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 thanks. And then I'll show you your fit. Oh. Alright, alright, show your fit. A, A, A. Ooh, ooh. Good twirl. job, good job. <laughs> show you guys a little bit of the fit right now because you guys didn't get to see it earlier but this is the fit princess polly mm -hmm. mm. yeah but this is my makeup right now i use like the hourglass air filter charlotte tilbury i think it is my roommates because i don't own setting spray but today was so 